New product development involves both highly creative and highly tactical stages of activity. Each one of these stages is critical, but also time consuming, and competing against them is an interest to get ideas to market quickly. But are there limits to the extent to which we can reduce the amount of time spent at any one of these stages before we start cutting into potential profits at the market? And is there technical complexity or innovativeness that characterizes the product that might moderate our ability to reduce time in any one of these stages? These questions are core to the research that I've done with Raul Chow. We examine new product development stage time records both prior to and three years following the installation of a product lifetime cycle management system at a variety of firms. What we find is an inverted U relationship between market performance and the amount of time that is reduced in a couple of critical stages including the beta and market testing stage and the technical implementation stage of new product development. Specifically, we find that the more complex the new product being developed, the less room we have to reduce time in these particular stages before we lose value to market. Getting to market early obviously pays off in many circumstances, but there are also limits to which we can reduce time in, spent in the new product development process. This is particularly critical when you have new products that span multiple technologies. When you start cutting corners, you start losing potential gains in the marketplace. In short, if you're a firm that manages multiple products, developing those products in a portfolio type of a structure, you do well to keep in mind which of those product development efforts span multiple technologies and which of those are simply incremental, especially if you're looking for ambitious reductions in stage times.